Hello everybody, I'm doing a portal commentary on how to do chambers 11 and 12 speedrun. This is my first portal commentary, so it might not be very good audio quality, but I lowered the sound, so hopefully you can hear me. Alright, so to start off, right when I start, I'm going to put a portal uh, be past this door right here. And right after that, because I have to do this really quickly, or the automated orange portal will shoot before I can get back through it. So I shoot a portal there, go through it, and then to the left of a door, I shoot another one, and then I turn around, go back to the orange one, and jump onto the portal platform. So let's see if I can do it here. And I have a quick save set up to where I am right now, so if I mess up, I can easily just go back to it. So shoot one here, shoot one through the portal, or shoot a portal to that door, and nope. Sometimes it you miss it, so I just have a quick save set up so I can easily just go back through it. Uh, one good thing to do is after you after I shoot here and right here, I jump and then crouch, and you can get a little bit more air and, and it's easier to land on the platform. It takes a few tries to get the whole thing, but uh, it's pretty cool once you do. So, as soon as I pick up that portal gun, a button is going to rise out of the water right there. So what I do is I grab the portal gun, jump onto there, into the water right when the button's rising so it lifts me up, and I shoot a portal through that door because it, it opens when I press the button, and shoot another one right there, and I end up going into that room. The and I jump off the button so that I can get some air and get in there without dying. Now what I did here is I did this, which is a portal bump, and as you can see, it puts the portal outside the map. So what a portal bump basically is, is say you, so you have two portals, if you shoot, so I have a blue here, if I shoot an orange one onto my blue one off to the side a little bit, it puts it off to the side onto the same uh, wall. So right here, this wall actually extends past the map. So if I bump a portal, it pushes it through this wall and goes outside the map. So I do that, and then I put one here. Let me just quick save here, so if I mess up, I can go back. And uh, because this map actually has two levels in it, usually I'd go through there, that elevator, and I'd lift up and go through, go to another test chamber, but it's in the same map area. And that up there is the ending elevator for the whole level to the next uh, level to load. So what I do is just go straight to there instead of going wasting time riding the elevator. And uh, to do that, I do, I do a Pika portal. So I go through this portal, shoot one, and then back out quickly. So since I have a blue one right here, I want to shoot an orange one. And there's a little, I can shoot right there, and bam, I'm up here. Quick save again. And now what I do is I hop down here, and what this is is a portal bisection fall through. So it's a weird glitch where the game wants to put you back inside the map. So if I have an orange portal here, so if I shoot an orange portal at uh, correct timing right in front of me as I'm falling through it, it'll actually delete this portal and push me back inside the map. So while I'm falling, I'm going to want to shoot about there. See, I messed up that time, but I can just easily pop up out again. Oh, why? Oh, there we go. See, I, I, I put another portal so I fell down, and then as I was falling, I shot another one. And uh, that wasn't exactly how I was supposed to do it since I was kind of falling. But uh, it works, so you just shoot another one, and it puts me back inside the map. Now I should go into the elevator. Thanks for watching. I'll probably put some more Portal videos up, mostly Portal 2, but uh, I'll post some of this still. Thanks for watching.